<laughs> Ciao, dear Sicily lovers! We are so happy, excited, because we are in a beautiful place with a beautiful girl, Serena. Hi! <laughs> and uh, can I say right now where we are? Yes! So we are in Polizzi Generosa, one of the most beautiful uh, medieval towns in Sicily. We are in the province of Palermo, about one hour and 20 minutes far from Palermo. And uh, Polizzi is so beautiful, so authentic, so rich in heritage, in beautiful uh, natural landscapes and is surrounded by uh, beautiful mountains. Actually, we are in the Madonia Nature Reserves. A beautiful green area, natural area. Uh, we are about in the north of Sicily, between uh, Palermo and, uh, and Catania, Cefalu. near Cefalù. Yeah. And uh, tonight there will be uh, a beautiful event. Uh, can I say the reason why we are here? Not only to discover Polizzi Generosa with Serena, but because Serena, what, uh, what is happening tonight? Well, tonight uh, there's going to be a great huge event um, signed Dolce Gabbana because uh, first of all you have to know that uh, the stylist Domenico Dolce is from Polizzi Generosa so this is his hometown. Uh, he's a very proud stylist from Polizzi. He loves uh, this town and so he's uh, celebrating with us uh, with this huge Dolce Gabbana event. In fact, there's going to be the presentation of a Devotion, which is a movie by Dolce Gabbana, uh, the director Giuseppe Tornatore, with music of uh, Ennio Morricone. The great Ennio Morricone. Yes. Hear the bells. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to introduce myself. I'm Serena and I'm part of, uh, of our project of uh, Polizzi Svelata, meaning Polizzi Unveil. We are a group of volunteer, young people originating from uh, Polizzi and our goal is to highlight the beauty of this town uh, with the hidden spots uh, which unfortunately sometimes are not as uh, evaluated as they should be. So you are the, uh, <laughs> the, okay. the best person to, to talk about this place. Generosa. There are many reasons why I visited it. First of all, we can say that Polizzi is a real Sicilian place when you can experience how it means to be a Sicilian, to live like a, like a Sicilian. So you can miss Polizzi if you want to experience Sicily. It's uh, a, a full experience yeah, because full here experience. you can uh, enjoy terrific food. And of course, it's rich of uh, cultural heritage cultural and historic heritage. In fact, now we will see some of the most beautiful artworks uh, which are saved here and have been saved here for ages. Polizzi Generosa is a very old town. Uh, firstly, uh, the Byzantine came here, uh, so in a Greek period, in the Greek period, and they settled here in Polizzi for its strategical geographical position. 
because Polizzi is actually on the top of the mountain. So it's perfect to, to see other people, other villages coming to conquer. So a strategic position. Yeah, a very strategic position. Then Polizzi is very particular. It's a particular town because uh, lots of uh, dominations lived here together peacefully. Wow. Yeah, for example, after the Byzantine, uh, we had uh, Arabs, we had Normans who stayed here for a very long time. And in particular, Normans had a very important role for uh, the cultural development of Polizzi because here they built churches and they enlarged uh, the existing churches in the uh, 16th century, uh, Polizzi became a very important, prestigious cultural town. Uh, many noble families living here with uh, amazing palaces that maybe we're going to see today. So we are here together to discover some of the beautiful places of the town. And we are so happy. Thank you, Serena, for, uh, for giving us this opportunity to, to discover with you this beautiful place. This is an amazing, amazing location. And if you come to Sicily, you can miss Polizzi, Generosa, and the entire area of the Madonia Nature Reserve. Thank you too for uh, having us and to, let, to give us the opportunity to know all these beautiful people of your page, of your project. Thank you, Serena. Thank you, Serena. <laughs> and now we are ready, Rosella? Yes, let's go. <laughs> let's discover Polizzi Generosa. <laughs> This is our main church. Uh, it's the most important spiritual center of the town. Uh, this is a very old church. It was built in, uh, in the 14th century and uh, then during the Renaissance period uh, it was rebuilt. So works of uh, restoration took place. So this is the right side of the church. It's not the main entrance but it's very interesting because this is the only side where elements from the original structures, so dating back the Middle Ages, uh, are maintained. For example, we see the Gothic portal, uh, which is, uh, yeah, which is uh, from the original structure, and this pointed window, which maybe, who knows, maybe there, there used to be the main entrance of the church, but actually we still don't know. Santa Maria delle Grazie Church, also known as New Abbey. There is a story behind this name because uh, he, in the same square, maybe 15 meters long, uh, along the street, there is another abbey which is the Old Abbey. So you may guess why two abbeys in, uh, this, uh, in this square? It's a story of revenge, a story of revenge because uh, the Signorino family in, uh, in uh, 1499 was a very prestigious rich family of the town. The sister, Sister Scholastica, a member of the family, was designed to be the prioress of the old abbey. But at the very last minute, because of political reason, uh, her application, we, we can say, was declined. So her cousin from another rich family from Polizzi took the place of prioress of the old abbey. Of course, this was a great shame for the Signorino family. So to make, so to make up for uh, this, uh, this fact and to show off their power and their prestige, they decided to have another abbey built basically in the same area. So that is uh, how uh, the new abbey in 1499 was created and was founded. Of course, Sister Scholastica was the prioress of this new church. Welcome to the inside of our new abbey. This church is very amazing because here we have two of the most beautiful things of Polizzi. The first one, as you may note, is this precious Madonna, Madonna Addolorata. Uh, this is carried during the religious parade uh, on, the, on the Holy Friday, but this is a very unique piece because of the precious veil she owes. In fact, this veil was uh, entirely designed and gifted to the Polizzi community by Dolce, the stylist Domenico Dolce, because as we know, uh, Polizzi is his uh, hometown, 
so he's very, uh, he's very happy about, about being a, a person from Polizzi and he decided to gift us with his amazing Madonna, the veil of the Madonna and the dress. Uh, this is all handmade, it's a macrame lace uh, with golden threads. So it's a very unique piece and we love it. Uh, he, also, uh, he also gave us this amazing structure uh, with all these Swarovski. Every little flower is made of Swarovski. Here we have another unique piece of this church. This is uh, the biggest uh, wooden safe keeping in Sicily. Uh, it was uh, designed and created by a local artisan, Biancivini, in uh, 1695. And uh, as you can see, it's of course Baroque style. We can see from the fluctuating columns, uh, from the uh, flower motifs, and I think this is really amazing. Here in the past, he used to leave the cloister nuns from the Benedictine order. And we have a, a witnessing, an evidence of, uh, of their living here. In fact, uh, the nuns used to watch the mass from their spot because it allowed them not be seen from, uh, by the other people because of course it was forbidden. And here we are with Mr. Nino Di Stefano, another proud man from Polizzi, and uh, he's gonna tell us another evidence about the stay of the Benedictine nuns here, and of course uh, about the strictness of the prioress. Attraverso lo sportello, prendevano la comunione e richiudevano. Perché le suore erano nel convento all'interno e il sacerdote da questo lato. Questo è il confessionale. Questa è la chiave che apre e chiude le porte della chiesa. Signore mia, signore mia, che monaca pazza che sogno io. Tu non con moglie, marito voglio. Che venisse un corpo vinto e si portasse il documento, che venisse ora ora e si portasse la superiora. Because, uh, as I said before, uh, in Polizzi lead the different dominations peaceful, peacefully together, and Jewish uh, used to live here. But we have another important spot, which is not related to Jewish, but it's important as well. This balcony is not a simple balcony, because uh, when Charles V came in Polizzi in 1535 during his uh, journey uh, around Sicily, he stopped here and he lived there. Charles V was uh, very impressed by the hospitality of uh, people from Polizzi and in fact he decided to gift uh, the city of Polizzi with a very precious camba. So as I told you about Charles V, uh, Polizzi is very renewed for its hospitality and its warmest, the warmest of its people. Uh, this, um, this element was also known by another important, important character of the, of the history, uh, which is uh, Federico II uh, di Svedia, of Svedia. In fact, when he came here in Polizzi under the Norman reigns, he was so impressed of the hospitality and the warmth of uh, people from Polizzi that he decided to give Polizzi the title Generosa, which in English means generous. So that is why Polizzi is called Polizzi Generosa. This is the official name. So, if you if you follow us, you know that uh, we've been in uh, in the area of Noto that's so famous for the Baroque uh, uh, style, for the Baroque architecture. And here in Polizzi Generosa we have a, a unique example of Baroque style, uh, Serena. We have some masks. 
yeah. quite in Noto. This is the palace of uh, Gagliardo family, which is uh, one of the most prestigious noble family of Polizzi, because as I told you, Polizzi is rich of prestigious, prestigious family and nobles. So perhaps Gagliardo is related with the Gagliardi in, uh, in Noto, we don't know. But, don't the, know. but the style yeah. is, the, is the same. Yeah, we don't know, but there are uh, evidences. Uh, which link this palace to uh, the Baroque style of uh, Noto, which is very unusual for uh, cities around Palermo, because uh, here uh, Baroque elements are slightly different. We can see, for example, uh, by the mask here in the columns, um, which uh, uh, reminds elements which uh, were useful to, uh, to defend from demons. Polizzi Generosa si animerà di folklore siciliano. Dal neone 18.30, sfilata folcloristica per le vie del centro. Dal neone 19 avrà inizio la serata con la proiezione del film De Emotion. So here we are in the main church, apart from the central uh, aisle, uh, here we have uh, different minor chapels. This, for example, is amazing and it was completely restored by uh, the stylist Domenico Dolce. As you can see, it's a triumph of beauty, really. But uh, there is a funny curiosity, because here you may see this, uh, this picture which <laughs> remind us a selfie. So we could say that it's the first selfie of the history. Of course, I'm just joking. And this is the chapel of San Gandolfo. San, San Gandolfo is the saint patron of our town, Politi Generosa. Now come with me because here there is an amazing work of art. Maybe the most beautiful of Politi, I dare say. This is the Flemish triptych from Roger van der Weyden, a Flemish painting. You may guess how a Flemish triptych came here in Polizzi, in the mountains, in the Sicilian mountains. Well, there is a legend behind these, uh, these amazing works of art. In fact, apparently, a captain was about to sink in the Mediterranean uh, Sea, and so he was very scared, and he promised to gift 
a very poor church with his amazing and evaluate uh, picture. So once he landed in Sicily, he met a monk from Polizzi. So under his, by his suggestion, he decided to gift the whole community, so the gift of Polizzi with his amazing painting. <laughs> the treasure of our main church. So this is a unique piece of art. Uh, this is all made by silver by Gagini, Nibilus Gagini, uh, who was uh, one of the artists most present here in Polizzi. In fact, we have uh, different evidences of their work. Here we have uh, a representation, a silver representation of uh, the Last Supper. <laughs> Polizzi Generosa, don't miss the opportunity to visit Vinci, 
cosa abbiamo? Cosa avete, cosa, quali sono i vostri che già so, che sono capolavori? I already know they are masterpieces, but I want to, to, to introduce them. This is Foglio, and this is the masterpiece of Polizzi. Le sfogliatelle, pasticciotti, and of course the traditional uh, almond pastries. Pasta di mandorla. What we are going to test, Gianca? Which one? This is an hard choice for us. I, I vote for the sfoglio, of course. This is the, the masterpiece here in Polizzi Generosa. They make, of course, their uh, uh, pastries, uh, their cakes uh, with love. So they are proud to, to do this masterpiece. Uh, How do you make it? Come lo fate lo sfoglio? Eh, pasta frolla all'esterno, invece all'interno c'è la puma che sarebbe il formaggio fresco con cannella, cioccolato, candini, zucchero e uova. So there is a, a how do you say, a, a, a crunchy cross outside and inside we have a selection of uh, Sicilian cheese such as tuma, then we have uh, egg, then we have cinnamon, uh, cannella, uova, zucchero, sugar of course. So, You have to come here to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm ready to test. Oh, this is a big piece for me. <laughs> How is it? No, no, don't, don't say anything. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> Grazie davvero. Grazie e com e compli e complimenti, complimenti. From Polizzi Generosa, it's all. Thanks for watching, thumbing up, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Love, hugs, and kisses from Sicily!